So the question is about binder, and while, again, we're going to be spending a lot more time on this in week 12 on the mobile apps, again, I'm just going to show you that what happens is a student can click on send to binder, they have to log in, and this is going to be sent to binder. So let me just show you binder right here. So binder uh, should come up in a second here. And what you're going to see with binder is that it is right now an iPad app and they have the Android app in um, coming out. And again, the purpose of Binder is the students download the content to Binder and then they can do stuff offline. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna log in. I already have an account on Binder. And again, we'll be spending more time on this specifically, but just to show you kind of how it works. And that didn't work for some reason, though I know why. So this logs me on the binder, and you have two things on binder. You have my binder and fetch. The fetch piece um, allows you to go out to our learning environment. I think it's this the one. Nope, not that one. So it goes out to your learning environment here, and then you can see all the courses that you're uh, a student in or an instructor in. So this is really more for a student tool. So in this particular case, I can actually go to my sandbox course here. Um, and then I can view the various content in here. So here's that course materials again. And so this is another way of getting the materials while I'm online. Because the honest truth is I don't have to be off online in here. So I can go into module one here and I can go and it's kind of come up and show me all the materials, all the, it's fetching all the materials. There's that bio. I choose that and it downloads it. And then it puts it into the my fetch area. And you'll notice the little number one that shows up there. So that's really kind of nice that the little number one, you know, shows up there and lets me know that it's in my binder. One of the other things you're going to notice that's interesting with binder is the connections. I have a Dropbox account. So if I wanted to uh, have something in my Dropbox account that I'm going to use and mark up, I can go to my Dropbox account and add it to my, my binder. The other interesting thing you'll notice is you can actually add SkyDrive. Every student has a SkyDrive account, which is now called a one account I forget or something like that and there's even a place to add photos I'm not sure where the photos are from or where they connect but you can probably connect something like um, um, Flickr to that so that's the one step I'm sorry about that my mirroring went off let me mirror again sorry about that bring it back Sorry about that. So what I wanted to show you is that with the connections, again, you can add other connections to that. So now when I go to my binder here, this can be done now offline. I don't need to be connected once I'm in the my binder area. In this particular case, what I can now do is I can actually search. But what's more important from a student perspective is that they can bring up the binder here and they can then have various tools that they can use. Here's a note tool so they can tap there and type in some notes if they want and they can pin those notes there if they want they can change the color of it if they want and they can of course delete that note if they want to there's an even mark up here where they drag their finger and can highlight various pieces of of the document again changing the color whatever they want to do here so you can see this is a very versatile tool for the student because they can have your content that you want them to read and they can mark it up now again it is a student centered tool in this particular case this one is kind of neat in that they can draw on it and do various things. And then there's some tools over here, which is the table of contents um, that they can have in here, some of the notes that they've done, if they put any bookmarks in here. So again, uh, a really neat tool uh, from the student perspective. And if they click on that, they go back, I think back up to my binder here, and they can go to the other documents. So this is a kind of a neat idea of what binder is. Again, uh, you're going to see a lot more of it than what I'm showing you here, but really a neat tool.